Final question for today's episode is from Hudayfa. Is it permissible for a woman to become a pilot? When you say a pilot, most likely you're referring to a commercial pilot. And a commercial pilot is one of usually two, maximum three, sitting in the cockpit. So you have a pilot, a captain, and a co-pilot, a first officer. Some old aircrafts had flight engineer. Sometimes you have a second officer. Sometimes you have an IP, an instructor pilot, or a Czech airman to examine either one of you. But generally speaking, it's only the two of them. And by nature of the job, pilots travel. So a woman, first of all, cannot travel without a male mahram accompanying her because the Prophet ﷺ prohibited that. So this is restriction number one. Secondly, she cannot be in seclusion with an unmahram. So she's the pilot and the co-pilot is a man. And they sit in the cockpit for six hours, taking off, landing, traveling, and sitting, navigating. And that is totally prohibited. The Prophet said, no man sits in seclusion with a woman except the third person with them in that cockpit or that area is Satan himself. So what do you think Satan is going to tell them? Uh, why didn't you guys memorize Surah Al-Mulk? It gets you closer to Allah? Of course not. Therefore, it's totally prohibited for a woman to work as a pilot or to travel without a mahram as uh, a hostess, for example. And we know what happens. Of course, we don't paint them all with the same brush, but what do you expect a woman who's single, who travels and has layovers in different countries, in five-star hotels, seven or eight days uh, uh, a month, she stays for two, three nights in each layover, and she's working with men, with pursers, with uh, uh, flight attendants or male, and having breakfast, lunch, dinner in the restaurants with pilots, and they mix and they go shopping together. Hello, what do you expect? Such jobs are extremely dangerous for the chastity of women. A lot of such women fall into zina. They're human. You put fuel next to fire, please God, please, Ya Allah, don't let it ignite. It will burn. And this is what's happening worldwide, as everybody knows. So, this is not something a Muslim would want in his CV in front of Allah Azza wa Jal on the Day of Judgment, not even in front of normal people. May Allah Azza wa Jal protect us and our daughters and our sons from such fitnah.